Staff at the Scottish National Blood Transfusion Service work for an international award-winning organisation that's at the forefront of research and development. For years now, it's been a dream for the various sites in Scotland to come together in a place that provides the facilities that reflect that international reputation. Later this year, this dream will become a reality with the opening of the new multi-million pound National Centre on the Heriot Watt University campus to the west of Edinburgh. What's exciting about it actually is seeing the future. It's actually preparing and leaving a legacy for the future for Scotland for when we're all gone um, and to make sure as the building is going up that it meets our needs not just now but also into the future. It's been from every single aspect so it's been from saying what's the overall design, how do flows have to work, to saying what sort of um, benching do you want, how do you want your electricity supply to come into the building, what services do you need. The best thing about the job is coming up with whether people have got problems or uh, challenges and we work together to bring solutions. It's taken an awful lot of dialogue and consultation and working together as a partnership to get the right solution. So we're coming to a key stage of the project just now where we're encouraging staff to get involved. Ivy, from a receptionist's point of view, is absolutely key. It's a hard job and it's a job I wouldn't like, but um, they've listened to people and that's a good thing. You need to listen to the people that are actually going to be working there. Willie Newlands, who is the transport manager here, is very excited about moving to premises that actually has a garage, which means that the, the vehicles can be serviced um, undercover. Just the very fact of having a garage is, is going to make my life a lot easier, my job a lot easier for me and for the drivers that I manage. Um, they've got a base that they can actually call their own now. So Safi has been absolutely key. She's a project director. Um, she has a high degree or a high level of um, autonomy. I know that everyone who works from SMB says is proud of what they do and this building is going to make everyone feel proud too. Um, and it's, it's a beautiful design, it does everything we want, it's technically right but also for the staff that are in the offices they, they're going to be a beautiful space as well. I quite like to have the peace and quiet you know of having your own office because you can actually shut the door if you need to concentrate but the actual open plan side of it, I'm not too worried about it. I think it'll be quite good. I think people will integrate better. Paul came into the, the project a little bit later on. We recognised early doors that we needed some additional input into, directly into the project. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm working so closely with such specialist people at SMBTS. I'm getting an insight and a knowledge of what they actually do in a very demanding and technical environment. And it's, it's, it's a privilege to be working on, on the project. But one of the key things about this building is the modernisation of our practices. This is a building, it's what we do within that building that is actually the most important piece. I think having the interaction with people will be a big difference. You know, you might be less inclined to use email and the phone to pick up and actually get up and go and speak to that person. For me it's going to be a, a great move. The challenges that we have of keeping up to speed with new developments and maintaining our licence, things like that, that this new centre is going to be the place to do that. It's going to be a bespoke lab, it's going to have a GMP workflow and it will also give us the opportunity and the space to be able to implement new safety measures. I think the biggest challenge for us, um, I personally think, is the moving staff and getting them there because there's a lot of anxiety. Change is with us. Um, we are all going to have to change and, and be a little bit more flexible. So let me know what it is that we can do to actually help alleviate some of that anxiety. There will be problems at the start, there are always is teething problems. Um, but I think the benefits will oversee the minor issues that we'll have at the start. There'll be teething problems at the start, just like anything else. Well, I think it's going to be a bit of a culture shock for people because for years, um, the majority of people who have worked in administration or office-based have been in small dark rooms and basements. But I can see that the organisation's moving towards a, a more agile workforce, being more flexible, uh, so there'll be more working from home, there'll be more um, different bases working. So we need to be part of that culture as well. Although there's the, the travel aspects a negative, the, the kind of what life balance and the shift aspect would be a positive. I was worried before, I was a bit concerned. It's a bit nerve wracking moving to a new site and new people coming on site, everybody mixing together, you're merging two sites. 
So, but not now, not now I've seen it and seen how the land lies and where it's, what it's going to be like. This building is full of light, it's on a beautiful site. One of the things that I love about SMBTS is the staff are really committed to what they do and here we'll be able to work together and I think that that commitment shows in the building and I think it will it will come through with staff somehow that this is this is a world-class building, this is somewhere you can be really proud to come through the front door every day. The National Centre is a facility that Scotland can truly be proud of. It is setting the benchmark for blood processing and you will be having visitors from around the world to see what Scotland are delivering today. I think it's going to be exciting, it's going to be modern, it's going to uh, motivate us because you're working in an environment that's fresh and new and you should have the appropriate facilities there that you need to do your job. Honestly, I can't wait to get into it and then I can just start afresh. It'd be just like starting a new job for me, you know, and hopefully I'll be able to like start a new job for the drivers, you know. It's a vast improvement. If you could ask any one of the, the staff, I think deep down they're all looking forward to moving to the new place. I certainly am. It would be an exaggeration to say a space age laboratory. It's, it's really modern looking, it's open plan, it looks fresh and new. Amazing. Um, completely different from what I thought. Um, looking at a, a plan, it's not the same as actually seeing it first hand. Um, it's exciting, um, a bit scary, but uh, I think on the whole it'll be great for everybody involved, it'll be wonderful. If you don't have a guaranteed blood service, then it affects every single person, every operation is at risk if you don't have a blood supply, every birth is at risk, so this is something that I think had to be done, this is investing for the future. I would say it's absolutely fabulous. Um, we. I, one of the big things for us is that we look at what we're currently operating in and it is not befitting of an internationally renowned service, which is what SMBTS is at. These premises will be fit for that and, and will represent and provide us with facilities that meet our international reputation. <laughs>